All right, we're gonna start off by saying Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Call Halal Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakakwadash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the name of our Lord and our Savior, His Son. We are the nation of Yahshua Allah, according to the Paleo Hebrew. Paleo means ancient. And Hebrew is our heritage. We are the nation of Israel, the chosen people of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, the elect men set up to be the leaders of Israel and who rule well. Shalom to the sincere Akim that teach this truth in sincerity, and Shalom to the sincere Akwatim who listen and learn and who believe. Lord willing, this be edifying. And to the elect of Yahshua Allah. Alright. And I, I don't even have my, my sword open. So I'm just going to do this through the Rakakwadash. You know that this is a. There's a particular brother I have in mind. And he's pretty much. He's, he's, he's going through something. Um, to put it plainly. He's going through a passing of a, a, a family member. Okay. And um, you know. I, I know it's a. It's a hard thing to go through, um, but but Lord willing, these precepts, whatever Yahweh Bashim Yahshai has on my spirit to bring out, you know, Lord willing, they'll uh, bring comfort to you. All right. Um, one particular precept that comes to my mind is 2 Corinthians, the 15th chapter. Uh, so like it, 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter. And I'll start at the... Um, so like it, let's just let me read for a little bit. Yeah, I'll start, I'll read the 40th verse, Second, uh, 1 Corinthians 15 and 40. It says, um, there are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial. And if you don't understand that, uh, celestial bodies is, is bodies that can dwell in the heavens. And terrestrial bodies is bodies that can dwell amongst the earth. And it says to read on. But the glory of the celestial is one. And the glory of the terrestrial is another. Now I want to jump to uh, verse 50. It says. Now this I say brethren. That flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Neither do uh, corruption inherit incorruption so we can't even enter into the kingdom of heaven with these earthly bodies because it, it is is um what the lord say the uh the spirit is willing uh the spirit indeed is willing but the flesh is weak okay we can't enter in the, into the kingdom with these bodies okay uh to read on 51 Behold, I shew you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. And when it's going into sleep, that means you pass away in your terrestrial body. Okay. Or the term we use here on the earth is that we die. Okay. Now, it said that we shall not all sleep. You know, uh, uh, the Lord told um don't when he was speaking to the disciples, he says, Some some of you men uh shall not taste death to roughly paraphrase. There's gonna be some men that make it into the end during the time of our Lord and, and, and just transition straight into the kingdom and not even gonna die. Okay. But um uh, just to read on to get to the point. It says, but we shall all be changed. I'll, I'll read 51 over again. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. 52. 
in a moment in the twinkling of an an eye at the last trump for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall rise incorruptible and we shall be changed for this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory o death where is thy sting o grave where is thy victory the sting of death is sin and the strength of sin is the law but thanks be to god which giveth us the victory through our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamasiak. So, Lord willing, that bring comfort to you, brother, is that, you know, the passing of your family, they're in the heavens, okay? They're in good hands, you know, not, not to even make a joke about it, you know? Um, they're literally in the best case scenario. They're in the heavens, in the spiritual realm, okay? And, um, uh, that we, we hasten uh, the, the coming of the day of the Lord, okay, so that we may be changed as well. So that we can, we can uh, the kingdom of heaven, be established on the earth. So what we have to do right now, as you see on the screen, we have to, uh, we have, to have faith that the Lord is going to return. And you have to have faith um, that we will be made immortal. You know, um, just to bring a little words of comfort, you know, um, you know, I, I went through through the same thing that you're going through. And I'm sure many brethren has gone through it, you know, and, uh, you know, a particular person in mind for me is my uh, my great grandmother. OK. She was a beautiful soul. And, and one thing I can say that I, that I'm glad I did. Is that I gave her the names of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai before she passed, you know, and she she you know, even she is up there in the heavens, okay, dwelling with Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and that's where we hope to make it, you know, and and we even pray in the Lord's prayer, um, here on earth, as it is in heaven, we know that the heavens is about to be established on the earth. Even as it is in the heavens. So Lord willing, this is, you know, uh, comforting to you. But as you see here on the screen, um, our faith has to come into play. So Hebrews 11 and 1, it says, or we have to exercise our faith. You know, better words. It says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Okay, and uh, yeah, we have to have faith. And uh, James 1, I'll start at James 1 and 1, because this, this can be an edifying lesson for other brothers too. It says, James, a servant of God and of the Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. Okay, so it's addressed to the Israelites. Um, and uh, the reason I'm reading this right here, brother, if you if you watching this video, is because you was you was uh, going into how, you know, your life is pretty much you know, you're catching hell. You know, you know, there's plenty of brothers out here catching hell. You know, we're all in in the land of our captivity. Okay, and. Uh, talking to myself as well you know James 1 and 1 uh, 1 and 2 it says my brethren count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations knowing this that the trying of your faith worketh patience but let patience have her perfect work that ye may be perfect and entire wanting nothing okay verse 5 if any of you lack wisdom, 
let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally and abradeth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. Okay? So, pretty much we have to have faith in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And don't waver in that faith. Because, um, you know, we're all exercising patience, you know. We're waiting for the, the day of the Lord. We're waiting for this kingdom to, to pass away. And, and uh, just to address, you know, your, your situation, you know. And I'm right here in that situation with you, you know. Um, we're all waiting to see our, our loved ones that passed on and, and that dwell in the heavens, you know. Uh, you know, we, e e uh, even more so, we, we, we hope to see the Lord, you know. We got to think about that. You know, that's that's our first love, you know. The Lord, the Heavenly Father and His Son, you know. So uh, just 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 to kind of put it out there, brother, you know, they're in good hands. You know, they're in the heavens, you know. And we, we hope that the heavens be established here on the earth. And we hope to dwell in the heavens as well. And we will get there. We just have to have faith. And uh, I I bring out one more one more scripture because you know I understand um, you know the passing of your family and uh, a lot more things other things on your plate you know it seems like it's all piling up on you you know that's really um, chastisement from the heavenly Father you know he and he chastens who he who he loves you know so you know just count it count it all joy you know. Um, but I was, I was going to the book of Job, the book of Job, because at the end of the day, it's really, um, <clears throat> a spiritual battle, you know, your flesh, the, these demons, uh, spirits that can hop on you or hopping on, on other people, you know, and, and things to, to pretty much try your faith, you know, and, uh. If you read uh, Job, the, the second chapter, actually, I'll just go ahead and read it for edification's sake. It says, again, there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan came also among them to present himself before the Lord. And the Lord said unto Satan, from whence comest thou? And Satan answered the Lord and said, from going to and fro in the earth and walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Has thou considered my servant Job? There is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that feareth God and is shrewd evil, and still holdeth fast his integrity, although thou movest me against him to destroy him without cause. And Satan answered the Lord and said, Skin for skin, yea, all that a man hath will he give for his life. But put forth thine hand now, and touch his bone and his flesh, and he will curse thee to thy face. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, he is in thine hand, but save his life. And that is a very important point to, to pretty much highlight right there. You know, the Lord is going to put you through it. He's gonna allow Satan to, to 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 try your faith, okay? The, these demons and Satan to try your faith, but he said, "Save his life," you know. Um, to read on, so went Satan forth from the presence of the Lord and smote Job with sore boils, from the sole of his foot unto his crown, and he took him a potsherd to scrape himself. Withal, and he sat down among the ashes, and he said, then said his wife unto him, Do thou still retain thine integrity? Curse God and die. And that's, you know, that was a spirit on 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 uh, Job's wife in that account, you know. And even sometimes those spirits, those demons, 
Satan himself can try to play with your mind, you know, and, and, and curse the Lord, you know, for all the, you know, the hell that you're going through, you know, the affliction, you know. To read on, verse 10, but he said unto her, thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. What? Shall we receive good at the hand of God, and shall we not receive evil? In all this did not Job sin with his lips. So there you have it, you know, and speaking to myself, speaking for other brothers, and speaking particularly for you, brother, you know. Um, we, we, we have to go through the hell as well, you know. We have to go through the good and the bad, you know. It's just really all at the end of the day. Uh, um, seeing, uh, basically re re refining you as silver and, and trying you as gold, you know, he's, you're being purged, you're being purified, you know. So I want to get another scripture in the Ecclesiasticus, and I, I pray this is edifying, you know, I pray this brings some comfort to your spirit, to other brothers' spirit, you know, even edif edification to myself, you know, because I, I, you know, I just... Let's keep going. Uh, Ecclesiasticus 2 uh, and, and 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure. And make not haste in the time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. And be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Those are some of the most beautiful precepts I could, I could ever give you, you know. You know, the scriptures basically told us we're going to be tempted, you know. Set our heart aright, meaning our mind, and constantly endure. Cleave unto him. That's talking about our Lord Yahweh, you know. That that's our refuge. Um, Proverbs eighteen ten. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower; the righteous runneth into it and is safe. You know. And right now, you know, I you know it seems like you know, things in life right now is tough. It's because all at the end of the day, it's a spiritual battle. You know. It's a spiritual battle. Um. But I think I pretty much got the point. You know. Uh, Lord willing, it was edifying unto the elect of Yahshua Allah. Lord willing, it was comforting to your spirit, Akia, you know, brother. And uh, double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the sincere Akim that teach this truth in sincerity. Shalom to the sincere Akwatim who believe. Shalom.